Hello and welcome to my latest video of 100 years of history at RAF Upward on the Aerial Views and Histories YouTube channel. My name's Steve and all the aerial footage in this video was captured by me and my Mavic Pro. All the ground footage in part 2 was captured collectively between Kev, Angie, Lauren and myself so big thanks to you all for coming with me on the day. If you enjoy the video please subscribe with the bell icon and leave me a like and a comment. Join us in part 2 for an urban explore of the remains at RAF Upward and trust me, you won't be disappointed. Uh, just a quick word, 11am um, on the 11th of November this year, 2018, marks 100 years since the armistice of World War One. So remember to show your support for all those, all those who lost their lives during that time and acknowledge the sacrifices that so many made. Okay, roll the intro. Let us begin, here we go. RAF Upwood sits adjacent to the village of Upwood in the county of Huntingdonshire, UK. The 160 acre plot of land was first requisitioned from farmland in 1917 and opened under the name Burry. At this time no permanent flying squadrons were positioned here and there were no permanent buildings. By 1918 five hangars had been built and the station was renamed to Upwood. Number 191 and number 190 night training squadrons moved in. At the end of the First World War, the squad were no longer needed and were disbanded between May and June in 1919. The airfield and buildings were then cleared and returned to the local community. This marks the end of RAF activity at Upward until the 1930s. By the 1930s, Britain realised that its air defence capabilities needed urgent expansion. 1934 saw the announcement of many major new airfield sites, including RAF Upward, was one of the many sites selected. In 1936, the reactivation, expansion and construction, including two of the current Type-C hangars visible in the footage began. All the squadrons here took on aircraft training roles. World War II was triggered on September 1st, 1939, with the invasion of Poland by Germany. The two squadrons based at Upward would remain as training units and were merged to create number 17 operational training unit. Since the reopening in 1937, Upward saw many periods where operations would be curtailed due to the grass runways being unfit for new large bomber planes. By April 1943, Upward was left with no aircraft and construction of three large concrete runways began and these were completed by October. 1943. At this time, new active wartime squadrons arrived, including number 156, flying the legendary Avro Lancaster bombers. During the peak of wartime activity, over 2,500 people worked at Aria Footwood, and a total of 210 airmen died during combat operations. The end of World War II, both squadrons of Aria Footwood were used on relief missions during Operation Manor. This period ushered in the Cold War and too many operations were taken for me to list here so if you'd like to know more then please check the wiki link in the description down below. By 1957 many squadrons have been created, moved or disbanded at RAF Upward. Around this time many new support roles were introduced at the base including the ground radio servicing station, radio technical publication squadron, the aeronautical training centre the Joint School of Photographic Interpretation and also became home to the HQ No. 33 Field Wing. During the time of 1963 to early 1964, all of the RAF regiment units had left and Upward was left to be upkept by caretakers. March 1964 saw the arrival of the 22nd Group of Technical Training Command. July 1964 and onwards, RAF Upward took on the RAF Central Library and School of Education, along with the Air Cadet Training Centre, amongst several others. RAF Upward was once again becoming focused on training and learning. All of these activities continued until late 1970, and by 1981 the station was once again dormant. Within the year 1981, the Ministry of Defence handed control of Upward to the United States Air Force. The 10th Tactical Reconnaissance Wing took over as the host unit and began operations in December 1981. 
RAF Upward became the satellite station of RAF Alconbury, and this became known as the Dry Base Area due to both bases' proximity to each other and RAF Molesworth. With the end of the Cold War in 1991 and the phase down of RAF Alconbury beginning in 1994, the US Air Force cleared out. Control of Upward was returned to British government control in September 1995 and the last of the US Air Force families moved away from the Upward housing area and the base returned to Ministry of Defence control. Area Footwood during this time still used the medical facilities for all tri-base military personnel. 1999 saw the sale of all the pre- and post-war housing for Area Footwood to the Welbeck Group and all of that was renamed to Fermead Park. The 423rd Medical Squadron closed the doors in October 2012 and merged into RAF Alconbury. So what is the current status of RAF Upward? Um, most of the site is unused and been closed since 1994. The old runways are still in use by the Neen Valley Gliding Club. In 2004, Turbine Motor Works purchased the four Type C hangars and plans are in motion to convert them into a jet engine overhaul facility. Upward also still houses the number 511th Squadron Air Training Corps, who have been there since the 1970s. Hopefully the aviation legacy of RAF Upward will continue into the 21st century. Um, I sure hope so. So coming up next is our explorer the site, and although the site is easy to access, great caution is required to navigate as many buildings are derelict and some have been hit by fires, so I hope you enjoy the next bit of the video. Sorry, I can't help but laughing at that. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to go into RAF Upward, have a look round, get the drone up in the air. That's if no one tells us to bugger off anyway. So, I hope you enjoy the footage and I'll have a quick word with you before we go. Hello? Wonder what that noise was, is that dripping? Oh man, this is crazy. Yeah. Man, this place is creepy enough. Possible to go upstairs in this one, mate. Hey, Kev. Nice views out of these windows. Um, from doing a bit of looking around, and I know that there's like a, like an old like assembly yard, and that's where I want to take off from. 
Where there? Angie! Angie! I don't want to be too loud in case we get attention. In that building. Angie! I haven't heard any screams. Angie! Doubt it. Angie! 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 Hello? Hey. I'm upstairs. Hey. You alright mate? I'll, I'll come down in a sec. No. Angie! Yeah, she's coming. She'll see you in a minute. Yeah, this is some horrible shit. <laughs> Man, I'm loving exploring this place. Right, this is the yard I was looking for. Yeah? I'm going to send it up in a minute and go find it. I think it is. Don't know. <laughs> Where did you go? I followed you in that building. And then I was like, Angie, Angie. I ended up upstairs thinking she probably hadn't gone up here, but oh, it looks cool. <laughs> this corridor and it was like it was like a, a, a game you know where you go in and they had a lot of corridors didn't it scanning rooms from the road there um since the 90s i believe yeah no but look at all these pellets on the floor. This is from all the airsoft games to play. Yeah. It's like like machine gun BBs. Yeah. Yeah, but what a place to Yeah. Yeah, they do they do events where they're like they'll have one building and they'll call it the embassy. And one team's gotta try and siege the embassy. And usually it's one of the really big buildings. So you've got to have like teams guarding like rooms yeah, and doorways and that. There and like pausing at the doors and then looking in. Have you got your drone on you? Yeah, it's in my bag. Here we are then at REF Upward. We've done a little bit of exploring, a little bit of looking round. It's time to get the drone in the air, see what else there is. I still haven't found the tank. I'm hoping with a little fly around, a little bit of reconnaissance, I can find it. And then if we do, we'll go and explore and take a look for it. So we've just been in RAF Upward, flew the drone, you've seen the footage at the start of the video, we've included our little exploration, 
you know, and whatnot as we're going through some of the buildings. Lovely place, great conditions on the day. If you like your urban exploring or anything like that, I highly recommend it. You know, if you like the video, you know, subscribe, leave a comment down there. See you soon. I can still see your ass. <laughs>